My name is Martijn. Over two decades ago, I was an Olympian athlete. This is me playing in the World League against Brazil alongside several Olympic legends. At the Olympics in 2000 in Sydney, we were literally two points away from a chance for a medal and beating former Yugoslavia, who ended up winning the gold, beating Italy and Russia in straight sets. I had a very promising future ahead of me. I was among the best players in the world at my age. I was mentally strong, focused and determined and had very high confidence in my abilities and my future as a volleyball player. Back then, I was playing for the Spanish champion. My dream and ambition were to play in Italy, in the best league in the world. In my mind, it was only a matter of time before I would achieve this. But fate decided otherwise. Although my life had been very different than that of most other people, very soon after the Olympic Games, I ended up with the same struggles as everyone else. Doubts, fear and lack of self-esteem, continuous feelings of not being good enough, stress, anxiety, and on top of that, a severe shoulder injury. All of that caused my downfall. I never lived up to the promise. My dream was shattered and my life was a meaningless waste of time. Looking back, it's easy to see what happened. Volleyball was my life. I managed to get good enough grades at school to graduate while I was drawing volleyball courts during class, thinking of ways to learn and improve and envisioning every game, every winning point. By the time I was 20 years old, I had already signed a contract with the Spanish champion and I was the franchise player of the team. But as good as I was as a volleyball player, I lacked any type of social skills. I lived in a cocoon where the sport was my ambition and my goals were the only things that existed. If I wanted to be successful in Spain, I needed to open up more, learn the language and build up somewhat of a social life. That's how I met my first girlfriend. And that event changed my life forever. For the first time in my life, I felt responsible for someone else. And somehow I wasn't able to handle that. I started to feel pressure for the first time in my life. I felt insecure about myself and the outcome of what I was doing. Little by little, that also started to translate to my game. I had always been able to envision success and great performances. Never did I have any doubt before a tournament, a game, or even a single point. I never had conscious thoughts during a match. I only followed my intuition and feeling on the court. But slowly, I noticed conscious thoughts coming up in my mind. First, the thoughts were increasing the pressure. I need to do well. I have to score this point. I cannot fail this service. And then those thoughts transformed into self-fulfilling prophecies. What if I don't play well today? The guys on the other team have a great block. What if I'm not as good as I thought I was? In one season, this change of mindset completely ruined my volleyball career. Some people think it was related to the shoulder injury I had, but the truth is that that injury only really started to impact my game long after I had already destroyed my chances of achieving my dreams. And I did that with nothing more than my thoughts. I was 23, just two years after the Olympic Games, and my life was a mess. For other people, it looked like I was still certain of achieving my dream, but on the inside, I knew I had failed. I managed to continue living my life as a professional volleyball player for six more years. I became a very hard worker with a weak mind. Through effort, discipline, and very hard work, I managed to only be a mediocre player. My career ended when I was 29 years old. It was a bittersweet end. 
I returned as a bench player to my team in Spain. And the starting player injured himself badly for the entire season. And I ended up playing as a starter for the rest of the year. And surprisingly, we won the Spanish Cup. It was a reward for all the hard work. But I also knew that that was the moment to quit. In 10 years time, I went from being one of the biggest talents in volleyball in the entire world to a complete nobody. Without an educational background and with no clue of what to do in life. Very soon after my early retirement from sports, I landed a job in customer service management. And I've slowly made a career to the point where I'm now leading other managers in a big e-commerce platform. But this is just a temporary thing because deep inside, I found a new passion, personal and spiritual development. I was very conscious of all the flaws I had developed in my mind and I knew I had to work on myself to change that around. I wanted to find that 19 year old confident and inspired guy again. He had to be in there somewhere, somehow. The 13 years that followed were the most difficult of my life. My lack of confidence and that feeling of not being good enough had now taken over all aspects of my being. And despite the relative job security, I wandered around aimlessly. Learning and studying lots of different things, I became a kinesiologist, life coach, and even a crystal therapist. I had online stores and YouTube channels and had some clients as a therapist. But I wasn't ready yet. I still had to do a lot of inner work to be able to change my outer world. And so I did. Year after year, digging deeper and deeper and deeper within myself. There were many moments I saw no end, no light and no hope. Failed projects, broken relationships and financial problems. And I also had some small successes like the publication of my first book, Dawn is in Me. But there was one thing I didn't notice in all those years. Little by little, all that hard inner work gave me life experience. And I became really, really good at transferring that life experience to other people in words they could easily understand and apply in their lives. I started to make a positive impact on the people around me. At my work, many people come to me for advice. And here on YouTube and Spotify, more and more people are finding comfort, peace and purpose through my words and coaching sessions. I have now finally found my new purpose in life. I created a solid foundation within my mind, a foundation of confidence built on the ruins of my shattered ego. It's nothing compared to the reckless confidence of that immature Olympian. This was built one piece at a time, one carefully thought reflection upon another. I changed countless harmful and untrue beliefs about myself and the world. And after 13 years of intense, profound and painful work on myself, I can now finally say I'm ready. This is a manifesto I am now ready to communicate to the world with the purpose to share the abundance of a consciously created mind. Not totally exempt from fear and doubts yet, but very aware of the illusion and temporary nature of them. I can now honestly say that by understanding, acknowledging and truly accepting my purpose, I feel I have entered one of the most beautiful and gratifying periods of my life. And I'm going to share it with you. So we can grow together in prosperity. 13 years seem like a long time, but if those years teach you how to embrace the now, face your fears and beat them with wisdom and recognize yourself for who you are, they are well worth the fight. I don't care how long you've been feeling you got the short end of the stick. 
I learned the stick is only in your mind. And ultimately, once you've learned to control your thoughts, you and only you are the one who decides what happens in your mind. This might not be the success story you were hoping for, but you might want to stick around to see how it unfolds in the next two years. And when you do, you might find some inspiration and motivation to transform your life around as well. Destiny is what you make of it. And I can't wait to see it unravel itself.